Welcome to Crosstalk Solutions. My name's Chris, and this is Free PBX 101 version 15, part 25, where we are going to be talking about announcements. First, however, if you guys are enjoying this series, if you are getting benefit out of learning how to configure and maintain Free PBX, make sure you click like and subscribe to Crosstalk Solutions. It absolutely really, really helps out the channel. And of course, for all of your voice over IP needs, make sure you go to the Crosstalk Solutions store. If there are any voice over IP products that you don't see in the store, contact us directly. We can typically get you a pretty good price on anything voice over IP related. All right. Announcements. What are announcements? Essentially, an announcement is basically just a module in free PBX that when a call enters the announcement module, it plays a system recording. We've already pre-recorded our system recordings a couple videos ago. It just plays a system recording and then moves on to a different destination. Or in other words, this is a way to play a message to your callers, but your callers don't have any ability to press a button such as you would in IVR to go to you know sales or support or something like that. It's basically just play this message so that the caller has to listen to it and then move on to somewhere else. So if we take a look at the IVR that we've designed for this course, we are using announcements in a number of places. So for our weather recording, for our holiday recording, for our closed recording, those are all three announcements. So essentially, if we have bad weather, we're gonna have an announcement that plays our, we are closed due to bad weather system recording and then drop into this general voice mailbox. Same thing for holiday, same thing for just general, you know, after hours business use. The other place where we have an announcement is over here. So if you go to Ring Group Accounting and no one picks up that call, we want to play our Accounting No Answer system recording, and we're gonna drop into that voicemail box with no outbound message on the voicemail box so that we are playing our own announcement, our own system recording, and then going directly into that mailbox rather than playing Angela's outgoing message of, Thank you for calling Angela, I can't to get to my phone right now, yada, 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 right? So we want a different message, but then drop it into that same mailbox without playing that user's personal outgoing greeting. Okay, so let's go ahead and get these set up. We're gonna start with these three over here. Here I am at the dashboard of free PBX. I'm gonna to go to applications and announcements. You can also, of course, use the contextual search in the upper right-hand corner to type announcements, and there it is right there. We don't have any announcements yet, but we have already recorded our system recordings. So we're gonna say add, and the first announcement that we wanna add is our weather closure announcement. So let's call this for the description, weather closure. The system recording that we're gonna use is closed for weather. We don't need to repeat the recording, although you can if you want. And then we have a couple of other options here. By and large though, you're just gonna leave these all default, all four of these settings. If you were interested in what they do, you can hover over the question mark and read about each one's description. Finally, we need to set a destination. So we're gonna play this system recording, then we're gonna move on to a destination. And if we look at our IVR here, the destination where we're moving is the general voicemail box. Now, in the system recording that we recorded, it said, thank you for calling Dunder Mifflin. We are currently closed due to weather. Please leave a message and we will return your call during normal business hours. So when I'm gonna send this to the general voicemail box, I'm gonna say destination, voicemail, and then we're gonna come down here to extension 6000, which is our general voicemail box. And notice that we have four choices. The general voicemail's outgoing busy message, the general voicemail's outgoing unavailable message, then we have no message played whatsoever, and then we have instructions only, which is the Allison Smith voice prompts that say, you know, instruct the caller basically how to leave a voicemail message. So in this case, I'm gonna say 6,000 general voicemail instructions only, and then we're gonna click submit. Okay, so there we go. We have our first announcement created. Let's add two more, one for general closure and one for holiday closure. So add, we'll call this one holiday closure. The recording is gonna be closed for the holiday. The destination is once again gonna be voicemail, extension 6000 with instructions only. 
We're gonna add one more. Closed, this is just our general closure. The recording is gonna be closed general and the destination is going to be voicemail. and general voicemail instructions only, submit. Okay, so now I have those three. So if we look at our IVR diagram, I have now created these three announcements, which we are going to subsequently use as destinations for the call flow control, our holiday time condition, and our business hours time condition that we have not created yet. Finally, we have one more announcement over here. This is the accounting no answer announcement and it's going to go to Angela's voicemail box. So let's do that one next. We're gonna say add. We're gonna call this accounting no answer. For the recording, we're gonna choose closed accounting. And then we're going to go to voicemail. We gotta find Angela in here. Angela Martin with instructions only, submit. And now that we have all four of these created, we can apply config. So. These are handy for a lot of things, right? So the announcement can be used, for instance, if you're going into a queue where you wanna have an announcement that doesn't allow the user to press any buttons, but it says your call may be recorded for quality assurance purposes, right? So for instance, in call recording world, if you need two-party consent, that's essentially your two-party consent, right? Whenever you hear that message, it means your call's being recorded. And you don't want a user to be able to bypass that message. You want everyone that calls in to have to sit there and listen to, your call may be recorded for quality assurance purposes so that they understand that they're being recorded. So just another example, uh, these are very handy. Announcements can be used all throughout the system, basically anywhere where you wanna play a message and then move on to a different destination. All right, in our next video, we're gonna start getting into ring groups and queues. Uh, so the next video is ring groups. The following video will be queues. Make sure you subscribe to Crosstalk Solutions so you don't miss out on any of these videos and we will see you in the next one.